On the telephone with us now here on Robin Hood Radio uh, is Seth Keys, and uh, we're going to be talking about uh, St. James Place. Seth is the general manager of St. James Place, which is one of those treasures in Great Barrington that is so close by and has uh, so much to offer us uh, since they were formed and became uh, the not-for-profit space that they have that they have, they've turned into. Of course, all our lives were turned upside down uh, back in uh, January and uh, February, and uh, and of course the the shutdown and the, the various stages of the shutdown have affected everybody, and one of those happens to be, uh, of course, St. James Place. But uh, they are opening three public spaces at St. James Place, and first of all, it's nice to welcome you in, Seth. Seth, thanks for joining us this morning. So thanks so much for having me, Marshall. It's a pleasure. You know, we uh, we hear the term "get back to normal." Uh, I, you know, I hate <laughs> to use that term because uh, we're not anywhere near getting back to normal. But uh, we are taking baby steps and we are moving forward on on how to uh, operate our businesses, whether they're for profit or non profit, uh, with the different stages of the pandemic that we're going through. And right now in Massachusetts, you have reached a, a, a new stage where where there's a little breathing room for you to do some things. A little bit. Yeah. Um, it's our new normal, as you as you put it. Um, but Governor Baker here in Massachusetts has announced step two of phase three um, for reopening. That's allowing us to be creative in reopening, but still maintaining social distancing. Uh, we are requiring masks, and all the uh, safety protocols will be put in place uh, to create a safe environment. So we're excited to be able to do that. So let's talk a little bit about the, 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 the details and exactly what it, what it is you're going to, to follow. Just, you know, because the public likes to know all the details in advance, uh, feel a little safer. Uh, and also, I think the public wants to get back to supporting places uh, like St. James Place. So what are the details uh, that, that, that you're going to follow? Absolutely. Well, we have uh, three uh, rooms that are open to the public, three major spaces. Um, our primary performance space is the sanctuary, uh, which typically seats between 325 and 350. But with the new protocols, we're limited to 104 uh, social distanced with masks and directionals on the aisles to make you know aisles one way and uh, keep it all safe. Uh, so the sanctuary is open. It is home to performances typically uh, by Aston Magna, by Crescendo, Close Encounters with Music, Berkshire's Jazz, Jazz and Classics for Change, just a host of performing organizations that use that space on a regular basis. Um, then we have the Great Hall, which is this magnificent space in the back um, that can be used for performances, but it also does double duty as a meeting space or a reception space um, that typically seats 100 people, uh, but now we're limiting it to 25. And then the East Room is a smaller room, uh, typically can get up to 60, 65 people. Uh, we can get 12 people in there, and that's also for meetings, for clubs, uh, women's groups, sewing circles, garden clubs, book clubs, you name it, we can host it. Now, as a as a space, the spaces that you have are, are great spaces for meetings and entertainment, of course. But mm -hmm. also, um, I would think that you're also a, 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 an incredible place to go uh, for a private function like a wedding or or some sort of party like that. Where do you stand right now with things like that? Well, again, the sanctuary, we can get up to 104 people, so we can host a wedding, and we'd love to host a wedding in there. However, the Great Hall uh, for a sit-down reception uh, would probably max out at about 40 at this time. Um, but we can work with folks to maybe work with the sanctuary to have you know the wedding and reception in the same space, just allowing some time for a turnover. Um, so we're absolutely willing to talk with anybody and see what's possible. By the way, if any of you uh, have not been to St. James Place in Great Barrington or don't really know about the details, uh, their website is stjamesplace.net stjamesplace.net It really is, uh, I mean, the function of saving that building and turning into what it has turned into is the ultimate recycling project, I would call it. It's truly a magnificent space. You know, this is this building is about 150 years old, and it was headed for the wrecking ball uh, about 15 years ago. 
and uh, a couple stepped up, Fred and Sally Harris stepped up to save it and created this 501c3 uh, nonprofit organization in order to save it from the wrecking ball and did successfully. And in January, it'll be four years uh, since we opened our doors. Uh, we just had this hiccup of a uh, virus get in the way in, of our success in the meantime. So so now that uh, we're entering a different phase in Massachusetts, uh, how does this affect you in setting up what you're going to do? Do you have anything on the on the on the burner uh, coming up. I mean, now that you, you, I mean, I know this sounds crazy, but I, I know like when, when we were, we have not opened up our building, even though we could, uh, our radio station, sure. we have not opened it up to the public simply because uh, we can't take a chance. We've got a small staff. We can't take a chance of, of anything happening. But I can imagine with you, where you haven't been doing what you've normally been doing, so do you have things all set up? Or are you just gearing things back up to slowly step things up? And, and what's what's the immediate future hold for people that, that want to go and see things? Well, we have been here uh, diligently working and planning and trying to uh, you know make sense of all of this uh, craziness that we've all been living with. Um, we are gearing up somewhat, you know, in putting out this announcement that we're open for business and that we can host things. We're talking to all of our constituent companies, a number of which have dates on the books for, you know, moving forward in order to come in and have an audience, uh, in, in their, in, in the sanctuary to see their performance, but also to do live streaming. A number of groups are doing live streaming or taping and, uh, putting it on the internet, uh, for, uh, later broadcast, and that is happening quite a bit more now, uh, which is kind of exciting for us. We're speaking with Seth Keys, who's the general manager of St. James Place in Great Barrington, and what I think people fail to realize, uh, I know in, in, in our business and other nonprofits uh, and in other businesses, uh, we deal with uh, our own staff and, and what we have to do and that we put out, but when you're a place like the St. James Place, which is basically a place uh, that is dedicated to arts and the culture. You work with so many other different organizations. Uh, it sure. becomes a bit of a logistical nightmare to start to web things up and try and, and try to get back uh, to a schedule. Uh, I, I mean, I just can't imagine it. And I think what you've shown, though, uh, and and you and other nonprofits, is that when you're dealing with the arts and culture. And when you supply spaces for things like this, how important it is for the community uh, and 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 to people to donate. I mean, when things are going tough like this, now you, you accept donations. And you If you go to your uh, website, stjamesplace.net, people can donate Absolutely. there. But I think you should put forward that, that announcement that, you know, places like this don't exist on goodwill alone. They, it, it does take money to operate and to stay in business. Yes, it always does. Um, and, of course, uh, rental revenues are not what they were before uh, the pandemic. Um, so we're, we're happy to accept the donations, um, and we look forward to having everybody back here in the near, near future. Um, I just want to point out that beyond you know performances and meetings, we also host uh, the People's Pantry here in Great Barrington, who does fabulous work, in, in especially in these times, of uh, feeding those in need. So uh, it's more than the arts, although we, we do call ourselves a home for the arts, and we pride ourselves on that. Uh, we're so much more as well. Well, uh, once again, if people want more information, uh, stjamesplace.net. Uh, once again, they are opening up their three public spaces. Uh, if you want more information on that, it's available at the web, donating and more of what they do. And really, you can actually, when you go to their website, take a look at what what they've accomplished over the four years they've been around, uh, stjamesplace.net. Uh, Seth, I can only say uh, uh, good luck, uh, congratulations, and, uh, and I hope uh, you, you get back into full operation uh, <laughs> because uh, in four very short years, you've become a very integral and important uh, spot in, in Great Barrington. I certainly hope so. That's uh, certainly our intention. And thank you so much for having me on this morning.